It's far from the country's popular beaches, but visitors to this old city, Medina, are also in search of a unique landscape. That's because Eriad, on the island of Djerba in Tunisia, has been turned into an outdoor street art museum. Mon seul objectif, c'était vraiment de donner déjà au street art. My only goal was to give to street art, to try to make something new with a collaboration of artists. I know it's very pretentious of me to say this, to make them enjoy the architecture, the domes. Secondly, we're trying to talk about Tunisia in another way. Djerba Hood has brought together 100 artists from 30 countries who have created over 250 grand works of art. Logan Hicks came from New York especially. He has been involved in similar projects, but nothing on this scale. The, the other thing that, that I really appreciate is that, you know, with this, like, they're, they're, using, they're using quite a few artists that, that are receptive to the culture or at least um, sympathetic to the, to the aesthetic principles of it. You know, and so you have people coming in, opening up a dialogue with the community as opposed to coming in and putting their stamp on something that doesn't really have anything to do with the community. The official opening of Jerba Hood will be September 20th, but already the art has changed the city, both aesthetically and economically. Ariad was known for its position on the road to Qriba, the oldest synagogue in Africa. But the street art fans are a fresh sight for local businesses. With regard to the season this year, it's been really good. The paintings have brought trade, tourists and new faces, people we did not see before in Ariad. What is interesting is that the paintings are well dispersed and not concentrated on a single street. On some older canvases, the paint will deteriorate and need replacing. For the organizers, even that illustrates the essence of street art. It's always a work in progress.